dear brothers of this beautiful blue planet. I am Ashta Sharon. I can say that my heart is celebrating, we have already celebrated victory on this planet. We haven't released the balloons yet, but we will soon. The joy of every galactic being around this planet is immense, because the great moment is coming for them to return home, to say goodbye to this great experience lived here on this planet. There is not much else for us to do except maintain the vibrant energy of the planet and we are doing that. Alcyon sunlight arrives with maximum intensity and energy of the highest quality is being launched on your planet by each of our ships, bringing purification, bringing balance to your soil, your oceans, and the air. You see nothing and it is not meant to be seen, we are not looking for the spotlight here, we are not looking for great honors. We have a mission given by Father or Mother God and we are strictly fulfilling everything that was requested and agreed upon. The light has already won on this planet, there is not much left to change in this situation. What we have now is the expansion of everyone's consciousness, everyone's understanding that we exist and are important in this entire process. We will not all leave, this planet will be protected by a large fleet of patrol ships, which will keep the balance here and the doors closed to invaders. All orbs have this, you will never be alone again. But they won't have all the ships they have around them today, they will have a sufficient number of patrol ships, which will be in their atmosphere, maintaining balance and protecting this planet. The moments to come will be difficult moments, but when all this is over, you will look back and say, I went through it all, I lived the ascension of the earth. Certainly no one else in the universe will have these memories because all other orbs when the races ascend are either removed from the planet or pass in another way to the next dimension, as free and pure souls. That won't be the case here. Here you will pass through the physical body, which will still undergo many changes, but you will not die to be reborn in the fifth dimension. So this entire process will be kept in your minds and it is good that it is so, so that you never want to return to each point that has already been experienced in your journeys. The memory will have to be just a sweet memory, without suffering, without any kind of feeling emanating. We have made many appearances throughout your planet, anyone who wants to see us and many have called us and we have appeared, because we are very close, we are not far away. Motherships are often above your heads, immense, practically covering as far as you can see the horizon. They are huge ships, but you don't see them, because it's not the time yet. These ships are very close to the surface, to attract any type of evil decision made on your planet. The response will be immediate, nothing will reach them. The larger the ship, the greater the protection. The smaller ships patrol the entire globe, from each point, each one must have full monitoring of what happens in its perimeter, this is passed on to us instantly so that we can act without invasion of free will in extreme cases, fear nothing. What has been said about this great negative mass is real and true, don't dive into it, stay out, watch everything from the outside, so that you don't suffer the consequences of your own decisions. We will know exactly how to finish off this mass at the right time. It won't be a very pretty spectacle, it won't be easy to experience all of this, but it needs to be done. It needs to be destroyed and when I say destroyed, I'm not talking about decimating anyone. We're talking about removing the great leaders and all those who try to impose themselves as new leaders. They will not remain on the planet, they will not remain here, we will do whatever is necessary to remove them, we are not afraid of your judgment, we will do whatever is necessary. So you don't want to be in this mass, because whoever is inside it will also be affected in some way. We never said these would be easy moments and they won't be for anyone. Because even those who are not within this mass will have a lot of work to remain balanced, intact, without submerging themselves in a layer of revolt or suffering. Strengthen your hearts and your minds. We will be your shields, you just need to ask us. We will be your fortresses, you just need to ask us. We will be your protectors, you just need to ask us. Each of you has the power of choice, make the right choice, stay apart from it all. Don't get involved in this mass. It will certainly be difficult for a while, the quicker you will recover. And those who are within that great mass, each in their own way, according to their path, will reap what they sowed. 
for how long? It will depend on each person's own journey, of what was emanated, of what was planted. So try to elevate yourself, try to stay apart from all this, so that the suffering is infinitely less. And at any time, look at the sky and call us, we are always ready to make an appearance, just call us from the heart.